guys and welcome back to my channel um, I know I'm looking a little bit more on the like casual side but I've been like running errands like crazy today doing different things um, getting my costume ready for tomorrow being Friday because we're actually going to Halloween party tomorrow and my grandma's helping me make my costume I'm also getting like a little bit sick so I'm sorry I feel like I have one of those like dry coughs that then leads into me losing my voice let's pray <laughs> But that doesn't happen. Today's story, as you can probably tell by the title, it's about the time I saw a real life exorcism. If you guys want to hear this story, go ahead and keep on watching. So I want to say I was around like 12 or 13, maybe 14. I honestly don't remember. We were going to what's called a healing mass. It's more like spiritual healing. It's not like physical healing for the most part. I was an altar server and if you don't know what an altar server is, um, in the Catholic Church, uh, it, there's usually someone that assists the priest um, kind of holding candles, holding a book. There's a bunch of different things that they usually do. So I was an altar server that day. In case you guys don't know what that is, you could always Google it, but I'm gonna insert a picture right here. In this church, it was kind of in the shape of like a U. So it had like two rows this way and then two rows on the side. We did like the usual like procession into the church and we were all standing. I think there was four of us. We all stood kind of like in the front of this side of the church. The priest kind of started saying like, oh, if anyone wants like spiritual healing or if you feel like your heart is heavy or there's like something like pulling you away from God, like come to the front. So like various people were coming to the front and then they would pray over them. And you know, th that was normal. I remember it so distinctly. This lady came to get prayed over. She was kind of standing pretty close. I want to say like an arm's reach away from where I was standing. And she was just praying, you know, she had her eyes closed. And she had her hands out like this. And then all of a sudden, like no joke, it was like instantly she fell on the floor. And I was just like, whoa, like craziness. And that's when things started getting really intense. This lady started shaking on the floor. And it wasn't like a regular, like I'm cold shaking or like a seizure sh kind of shaking. It was just like the weirdest, creepiest shake. Almost like like in those movies where like something is like coming out of them. Like there was like something inside of her and all of a sudden her hands started just twisting in, in ways that like a normal person like can't twist. So her hands would rotate really far back and she's laying like this on the floor and her hands are rotating and her head's really like far back. Her eyes are rolling into the back of her head her feet like do the crab walk almost and I, I wasn't scared I was just like what on earth is happening and her her back was arched and it was off of the floor and it looked like she was some kind of like weird creature laying on the floor the way she was and then the creepiest thing started happening so I remember her eyes her eyes rolled into the back of her head and all you saw was white all of a sudden her eyes came back but they were like really dilated and they looked like really like pitch black she's pretty short she's not tall or anything so she has a regular voice and all of a sudden in like the most deepest voice I remember she just started talking and I don't think it was her at this point I think it was literally like the demon there was a demon inside of her like she was possessed because the demon just started talking and saying like I don't want to leave don't try to take me out of her or I'll kill her he was just saying a whole bunch of like craziness like I'm gonna kill you if you try to do anything I'm gonna hurt you and he was saying that to the people that started surrounding her and the priest the priest had his hand over her forehead and then it just started saying like get it get away from me Ow, you're burning me you're burning me I remember there was like I think one or two guys that were trying they were gonna try to hold her down and the priest said like no don't do that and before he could say that I remember she had scratched one of the guys and like it looked like really you know like if I scratch like this like it makes marks like no those marks weren't like so like human they were they look like an animal had like scratched because they looked so red and then the priest said yeah everyone like step back like they didn't realize that there was four children like standing right here watching this whole thing unfold and then they were like oh no we gotta move them so then they were like yeah let's go sit you guys back there I wasn't scared of it it was just like really weird because you're just like what like, and I remember she was laying like this and the priest was on top of her and her eyes would literally roll back 
back trying to see the priest. They had moved us back a couple rows, so now you really couldn't see because there was a lot of people praying, you know, doing their own thing. But then there was like, you could like see them off in the distance. And I remember she had stopped and she had gotten up and then she just started crying. And I feel really bad for her. And then she like went back to her seat. Every time after that that I saw her, not gonna lie, I felt kind of creeped out. And then I remember one of the altar servers who was my friend, she had told me like that whatever that happens, you just have to like really like not have fear because if you have fear that I don't know the demons or whatever see the fear they're attracted by the fear so you just have to be like in a very prayerful mode it was the craziest thing and I remember ever since then I wasn't I was never scared of seeing a demon in someone else it was just the weirdest thing I don't know but um yeah that was a time I saw a real life exorcism I've heard like some people say like oh that's not real like the spirit like there's no like ghosts aren't real demons aren't real it's like no I've seen it like I've literally seen it and like that's not something you mess with that's one of the main reasons why I'm not a fan of scary movies because there's a lot of spiritual things going on behind that and that's another reason why I've never played like the Ouija board or anything like that because I can open portals and I I ain't about that life that's one of the reasons why I just don't mess with anything that's in like that spiritual realm I mean you never know what can happen it might not get onto you it can get onto someone that you live with a friend a family it, it'll get to someone some way somehow thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all tomorrow with possibly a new halloween look i'm not sure i will see you all tomorrow bye guys